welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hi. My father, Gary. Hello. And my husband, Jerry. Hello. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting to you about the most recent weekly peak, but before we get into that, I thought we might start off with a fun comment here by Catherine Blodgen. Catherine says, Bree, did you really miss what you said or just let it drop and wait for somebody to pick it up? In an RV, you need to stay up on your roof. I laughed out loud and almost rolled out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> also, my mom recently, February 27th, turned 82. Uh, happy birthday to your mom, Catherine. Um, would I be able to request a little customization on the Mint Condition shirt? I'm in mint condition. And believe it or not, on our website, you can customize all the designs. You can do multiple designs. Mm -hmm. um, you can put text on the designs. So I'll be showing up on screen if you're watching it how to do that. Um, you know, so you can kind of see that. I believe it's a customized tab. You click on that and then you can put whatever you want on there. So if you would like to customize that, a uh, mint condition a shirt for your mom. You are more than welcome to do so. We really appreciate your interest and happy, happy birthday to your mom. <laughs> Is that sale still going on through today too? I believe so. And yeah, that's right. Yeah. There would even be a sale on it. 15% off now through, I think it's all the way through the 11th. Thursday? Really? Wow. Yeah, I think it goes really a long time. Wow, so yeah. What's the occasion? I have no idea. Spreadshirt <laughs> just decides, hey, we're going to have a, you know, That's great. sale going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's that going on, too. Fun. So, well, okay, this Friday we had, or actually it's last Friday, because this Friday's coming up, but last Friday <laughs> we uh, we did some RVing. Yeah, we did. Yeah, went and, went and picked up a little adorable little trailer, mm -hmm. fifth wheel for your parents, Jared. Yeah. And that was really fun. Yes, it was. Um, Mary Speedy said, great to see your new project, Jared and Bree. Great job on replacing the skylights and other openings on the roof. Just one question. I noticed that you put at least one coat on the top of the roof. Are you going to put a second coat on the roof to make sure that it is sealed? Uh, in a sense, we did. Uh, we used one of those, uh, like it's like a, a seam repair type roofing material that you can get mm. uh, so we put that in all the seams and all the major cracks and i figured since it's aluminum roof already which technically doesn't need roof it coating doesn't on leak top where there is aluminum right yeah it yeah. doesn't leak where there is aluminum <clears throat> so patch the holes and everything that was vulnerable and then put that roofing the regular roofing material on top of it i figured because it's already a roof it, it, everything's yeah. going to be fine with it yeah so basically it's overkill just to have coated it the way jared coated <laughs> <laughs> i don't think we need the overkill on top of the overkill well, well, well you Hopefully. know how it is though i mean you get into a project and you yeah. only see one coat of paint or 20. Yes. <laughs> oh man how many do we want to do this? yeah so but two coats you know some people do two coats some do mm -hmm. some people don't yeah but mm -hmm. i think you did a really good job we'll see yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. It'll be great. Yes. Get a call from dead mom. Hey, water's <laughs> leaking on my head. <laughs> you missed a spot. Your dad would totally take a picture of that and just catch it yeah, and say okay. you missed a spot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He would. He really would. Uh, IC3P1K says, the woman you picked the camper up from seems so nice. She really was. She was really yeah, nice. She was, really, really nice. Like, <laughs> she was very excited because... You know, you get you get these trailers, and it's like a little cozy home on wheels. It's so fun to breathe new life into it, and that's mm -hmm. what she had been. She actually wanted to do that, was, yeah. but it was a single axle, and everybody recommends if you're going to do solar, which is what she wanted to do, you want at least two axles. Mm -hmm. um, so she was she, even though it was small, she wanted the small. She loved it. It just wasn't going to work for what she wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So that is why she ended up having to sell it. And we were happy to take it because yeah. this is the perfect size. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> exactly. Uh, Rebecca Miller said, so instead of renovating the fifth wheel, you're now reinventing the fifth wheel? I'll see myself out. <laughs> I laughed out loud genuinely when I read that. That was hilarious. Can you do five and a half wheels? I don't know. Can a half a wheel be used? It is definitely. It would probably a clunk. She clunk. She clunk. Half a wheel. <laughs> yeah. Now over on Rumble... We had a few comments. Shano Terry 476 test the roof with a hose. And that is a really great That's idea. That's a really great idea. Do the faux rain. Yeah. <laughs> See if you did it right. It's a really good idea as long as there aren't any holes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. If there's a leak, then you go, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> she also said, Jared, if you ever need to get onto a roof again, use a moving blanket. It will keep you from getting hot and it won't slide off. It's a good idea. Good idea. Oh, nice. Good idea. Great idea. Now back over on YouTube, 
Mason McNulty said, Jared has really fit in. He shares the same self-starting jump in their enthusiasm and just do it <laughs> mentality that the rest of the crew has. I thought I spied another trailer on the day of the cement pour. How far did you have to travel to pick it up? We ended up traveling a fair distance away, uh, a few hours maybe, something like that. It was a day trip though, it wasn't anything overnight. It was like maybe three or four hours away. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're getting a bigger piece uh, of equipment or something, you, you do travel. Yeah, you're, you're much will, more willing, no, to, more willing to, to, like it's the price range, if it's like 200 bucks or something like that, you're like, can <sighs> we just get it closer? If it's like a $3,000 item, it's like, huh. I'm willing to travel a couple states to go pick that up. A couple of states. Thousand dollars <laughs> a state. Yeah. Now back over on Rumble, I, I, I sort these. It's so that it flows. So we kind of jump in back and forth from YouTube to Rumble. It's pretty exciting. And we're going to get Patreon in there at the end. Whoa. Whoa. We'll just say Lori. I don't want to mess up your last name. It's such a beautiful one. Thank you for allowing us to partner with us as Patreons and be a part of your family. What a fun new project. Ah, Jared and Bree. So generous of you to do this for your parents, Jared. Will your mom and dad use this for traveling and staying in for short trips or for longer stays in the RV, like wintering somewhere or summering in cooler states? Probably just shorter trips. They're not the long-term stay sorts of people. At least not yet. They might not, be. They might be. <laughs> but, but Depends on how good of a job you guys do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if they feel at home, we've done it right. Yes, it's true. <laughs> they really wanted it so they can go see my sisters and see us down here. And main, they, the main idea, I think. Mm -hmm. But they've been wanting one for years. Yeah, and they, they've had them over the years, too. It was a little sneak peek of the next one whenever that comes out. But um, they came down here when he's inspecting the trailer. Like, he's seeing all the things. I'm like, oh, man, we didn't look at that. Yeah, <laughs> so good. <laughs> but he, they seem to like it, though. Yeah. But, uh, he knows his stuff. Mm -hmm. so. He does. <laughs> it's kind of fun. At least be freedom. They said, you know, they can do longer stays if they're in a, you know, kind of an area of their own. Mm -hmm. They kind of they feel more... You know, like they got their space. Right. And uh, that was a really good idea, too. Mm -hmm. Whatever makes them feel comfortable, because we love having them around. Yes. So. Yes. Um, she also says, also, please share what products you used to the roof and where you bought them. It was the the Henry's uh, Seam Repair and then the Henry's Tropical, I think. Yeah, Tropical mm. Cooler. My dad had used those on uh, a trailer that we had previously owned that I stayed in for about a year. Uh, and he really loved that product, so... That's what we ended up going with. It's really thick stuff. It looked really good. Mm -hmm. so glad we did it. Texture of peanut butter with the seam repair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I was going to make like a sandcastle out of that stuff. <laughs> My dad says that they make that seam repair in like a, a caulking tube format. Mm -hmm. Thick as peanut Thank butter. That ought to be coming. fun to squeeze out. <laughs> <laughs> it attracts the mice, but don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Tierna Thomas says, I'm so excited to get to see Jared and Bree working together again. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Do your parents plan to paint the RV? Because I know we said yeah. at the end, we're like, we're going to try and get them to paint the RV. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they, they agree to it. So, so. Ooh, good. Do, do you want to uh, reveal what they're thinking? I think it's... Psychedelic. No. Sure, <laughs> green. They look both like the simple outside, so it's probably just going to be white with gray stripes, maybe a couple gray, different gray stripes, something like that. Yeah, so Racing it'll, stripes? It'll look real classy. Yeah. yeah. Flames. <laughs> yeah, flames. Well, your mom was like, yeah, we could put a few sunflowers on there. I don't know if she was teasing, but I was like, yeah, I'll put some on there. I took her sugar. So I was like, yeah, where you want them? <laughs> a little homestead plastered over <laughs> as they drive along. <laughs> my son and daughter-in-law are on my little homestead. Dot you know, com. Like, ask me In that um, show RV where the man's face yeah. is on oh, yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, we could just put our faces yes. on it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of comments over our pa over on our Patreon page this week. Um, Raphael Elves said, "I love your videos. A hug from Portugal." Oh, thank you so much, Raphael. Poppy D says, It looks like Bree was participating in a game of whack a mole. <laughs> uh, Kim said, I was wondering whose fifth feel that was. Those smaller ones are hard to find. I've been looking. Mm -hmm. well, I agree. We also feel the same way. I know. It's, it's all they have out there is like huge 25, 30 footers, you know. 40 footers. Yeah. There's more 40 footers than there are anything else. Any, wow. Like, mm. like 20 foot. 
anything under yeah. 20 foot is so hard to find. Yeah, because I think people are just rolling them off onto somewhere and not touching them. That mm -hmm. seems to be what they do with the fifth wheel. I don't know. Seems like that. Nora Delaire says, oh, it's great that you guys are giving back to them. Aw, like that. They're lucky to have you both. It's a really nice trailer, old but in good shape, all things considered, and such a nice size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's for certain. Uh, Loretta Sutton says, I love the video on how to do the roof of the RV trailers. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Yes. So, Mom, you had something to reveal about our next steps over on our shop. Oh, yeah. Upgrade. We've been doing a little bit of research this morning, and um, we throw it out there in case you have some ideas, too, is we want to come up with a way for, now this is for the shop and, and, and bagging, we want to find a way to scoop it with the skid steer and then somehow transfer it directly from the skid steer and into the bags. Mm -hmm. And they do make a a bucket that's kind of, it's like for concrete yeah, and mixes it and, and pushes it out at the end. So we're thinking about trying to come up with some sort of contraption, you know, scoop it up, then send it out and into the bags. If you have any ideas or you know of any uh, equipment out there that's attaching, that attaches to the skid steer, uh, please let us know because mm -hmm. we're heading down that road probably this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something we can lift in the air too, because mm -hmm. we've got to get a little bit of height. Yeah. yeah, a lot. Of I don't know if you've seen those ones from like, Superior Sandbag, but they've got oh, they've got oh. the system down. They, you know, for putting that along the sides of the freeways yeah. with the bags, and they lift way up. And I mean, it's all. They say they can do like 250 feet in 90 seconds. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> filling those bags, just like little oh toothpaste <laughs> rolls. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a mansion on yeah. the hill. Yeah. But that would be seconds. a little excessive for us. <laughs> Not to mention, uh, now because we've moved to the Hyper Adobe bags. They're not as strong, and they do have a little rip ability mm -hmm. to them. So we're going to have to be a little careful. We could never, well, we wouldn't anyway <laughs> lift them so high, but we'll have to have something a little bit more mm -hmm. compact. We don't usually have to add cement to our mixture, but we do have to add moisture. It doesn't rain all the time, and so a lot of us are up there with shovels, you know, getting the wet in there, and it mm. looks like with that being able to till inside that mm -hmm. bucket would mean that we could just spritz it with some water and it could be that nice wet texture that we need mm -hmm. um, as well so mm -hmm. that hits almost too weird with one stone i really like that but yeah yeah if you can think of anything or you know of anything please post links we would be happy to click on them and yeah. see what's up because yeah. uh, we are definitely <laughs> going to be doing that so pretty exciting <laughs> <laughs> well we really appreciate you hanging out with us and being a part of our family want to give a special thank you to you for commenting and sharing your ideas uh, your encouragement and everything else we really appreciate it and of course a special thank you to our patreon supporters for your financial support if you are interested in giving a buck or to a month all that really helps us out around here um and the link to that will be down in the description again we still have that 15 percent uh, sale going on on the shop on the t-shirt shop or merchandise shop we got mm -hmm. all sorts of merch there uh, now through i think it's the 11th it's through this thursday uh, so you'll have to check that 11th would be friday Take your I know shoes that off, because recount. I've got a true to permit thing coming on. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, I don't know, the site says it if you want to go over it. <laughs> <laughs> but we really appreciate it, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Wednesday for another video editing tip uh, episode, and of course, on Friday for another shop build update. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.